What's up guys, Coach Austin here with your Orange Theory workout tip of the day. And today we're gonna to talk about jump squats and how to keep our knees safe and healthy while doing a jump squat exercise. Now, when doing a jump squat or some sort of variation of a jump squat exercise, like with your toes out and more of sort of a frogger stance, one thing that we can tend to do is end up putting a lot of pressure on our knees by pressing through our toes throughout the exercise. When you go down for some sort of jump squat exercise, if you're putting the pressure through your toes as you initiate that initial drive on the way back up, this is putting quite a bit of shear force on your knee joint compared to if you were to press through the midfoot or heel during the squat portion. And that's why whenever anyone explains how to do a squat, they always say, you know, make sure that you're pressing your weight through your heels or your midfoot. We don't really recommend putting the pressure through your toes. But when it translates to a jumping variation of the squat where you're actually leaping off of the ground, well, then it is important to actually leap and land on the toes. And that's because the toe or the ball of our foot, that is where a lot, we have a lot of muscular support to sort of cushion the landing of our fall. If we are driving through the squat through our heels, leaping and then landing, crashing back down on the heels, well, there's no cushion whatsoever in the heel portion of our foot. And so that translates a lot of that jolting high force right up into your knee joint. And we don't want that to happen. That's what creates knee problems long term. And so we essentially have to train our body and brain to work together to understand that as we initiate the jump squat, we want to put the pressure through the heel or the midfoot of our feet. But as we come up, so for the jumping portion, we translate that energy to the toes to leap us off. And then as we come down, landing on the toes as well, as you lower back down into the squat, transferring that energy back into the midfoot slash heel of your feet. By doing so, you're gonna get the most effective activation of your leg muscles, but also make sure that your knees stay safe throughout the exercise. So keep that in mind the next time that you're doing jump squats. Get out there, guys. Have a great workout.